Miranda Matthewson, fitness and health expert here, bringing you the next in my series of free workout videos. This video is kicking off the new Pilates workout series. So today is the first in the series, as I mentioned. So we're gonna do the basics. We're gonna do the warm up that I normally teach in my live classes and really dig in to the foundation, like the breathing, the main muscle groups, where your mental focus needs to be. And secondarily, we're gonna focus on the rectus abdominis muscles. So what's that? That's the muscle that connects your ribs to your pelvis. And it's the muscle group that everybody likes to work, do lots of crunches and get your six packs and your eight packs and your 12 packs or whatever. But really and truly, the only movement that that rectus abdominis, the only movement that your eight packs do is to flex, flex your spine. That's it, flexing your spine. So if all you did was crunches and work out this muscle group, then you'd end up like this. You might have a nice six pack, or eight pack, whatever, but you'd be like this. So we do, we're gonna cover all of the different muscles in your core as we move through the video series, but today is the Pilates basics and the rectus abdominis, which we all love to love. So there we go, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start on our backs with the ring or the magic circle or whatever you want to call it if you have one if not that's totally fine too it just makes it a little bit easier to target some of the muscles that we're going after so the ring goes right between the inner thighs not too high not too low right in the middle and you're going to take your arms into a nice easy cactus position if this makes your shoulders feel tweaky then you just want to take them down on more of an angle here like that. All right, so before we begin, just start to walk your feet a little further down the mat, almost to the end or to the point where you're just about to have to lift the toes up. And then we're gonna start some Pilates breathing. So you inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. So when you do that, you pull the belly down on the exhale, and you force the air out through your mouth. Inhaling in through the nose, and exhaling out through the mouth. Good, and by doing that, you're engaging your uppermost core muscle, your diaphragm muscle. It acts as a bellows for your lungs, and you can feel it pressing down into the abdominal wall when you exhale. So you want to keep that going throughout your entire Pilates session. Now we're going to add some movement to it. So inhale, flattening the spine, and exhale, rolling the hips out. So one extreme to the next. Inhale, flatten, and exhale, roll your hips out. Low back comes away from the floor. Inhale, flatten, Exhale, roll it out. You can also call this an imprint. That's where we do most of the classes. And exhale, roll it out. And then let your spine fall to neutral, right between the two extremes. So this is neutral spine in case anybody asks you. <laughs> but like I said, we're gonna do most of our exercises from that imprinted position, feeling like your ab muscles are pulling together in the front and the belly button is pulling down through your spine into the floor. But for now, we're in neutral. Oh, before we do the arms, we're gonna engage the pelvic floor. So inhale here, exhale, squeeze the ring, and think of lifting up with your pelvic floor muscles. So on each exhale, you have the diaphragm pressing down as the pelvic floor lifts up. Inhale, loosen, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, loosen, exhale, squeeze. So the ring is helpful because it reminds you to engage the diaphragm and the pelvic floor. But you don't need the ring in order to engage those muscles. 
because we'll do a little later on. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale and exhale, squeeze. Now keep the ring nice and tight. And now take your fingertips towards the ceiling. Inhale, pull your shoulders right up off the floor. And exhale, press them down, making your neck feel longer. Inhale, pull the shoulders up. Exhale, press the shoulders down, back of the neck longer. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. One more time, shoulders up. And exhale, shoulders down. Inhale your arms alongside your ears, and as you do that, pull your rib cage down. So as you pull your rib cage down, you feel the belly pulling down and your core engaging. So that's what we're going for, that imprinted feeling, spreading your shoulder blades out wide into the floor. Inhale, reach the fingertips up longer, and as you exhale, start to guide yourself up with the fingertips, then your chin to your chest, then the shoulder blades peel up, and then you're in your first curl. When you curl up, you squeeze the ring, engaging the pelvic floor and the diaphragm. Make sure, like literally check, and make sure that your glutes are not firing. We want this all to be about the rectus abdominis right now. Pulling down into the floor, shoulders away from the ears, but shoulder blades up off the floor. Inhale, loosen the ring as you lengthen back down. Rib cage pulling down, reach the fingertips and use the entire exhale to come up, squeeze the ring, engage the pelvic floor. Inhale, lengthen down, loosen the ring. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, lengthen down. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, lengthen down. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, lengthen down. Keep going. We have three more. Squeeze up. Three. Inhale, lengthen down. Exhale, up. Two. Inhale, lengthen down. And exhale, up. One. Hold it here. See if you can squeeze the ring a little harder, lift the pelvic floor more, and exhale your rib cage a little higher. Now this time, you're gonna inhale, circle your arms down. Exhale, straight over the top, squeeze one. Inhale, circle down, lengthening. Exhale, up two. Inhale, circle down. Exhale, up three. Inhale, circle down. Exhale up four. Inhale down. Exhale up five. Inhale down. Exhale up six. Shoulder blades a little higher each time. Keeping the neck nice and long. Shoulders away from the ears. One more time this direction. And over the top, hold it here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the ring harder. Lift your rib cage more. And then reverse. Inhale, lengthen down. Scoop around and up one. Now you never want to come up so high that your low back lifts up. So we're not going for that. Instead, what we're going for is thinking of pulling the belly down more, but lifting the rib cage higher which leads to lengthening the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Diaphragm, pelvic floor. Inhale, lengthen. Circle up, six. Lengthen, rib cage down. Circle up, seven. No glutes, right? They like to sneak up and help you without even telling you that they're gonna do it. And now, take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze the ring more, lift your rib cage more, and then we're gonna go both ways, circling down. Exhale, circle up, squeeze. Inhale, circle down. Exhale, up two. Inhale, circle down. Exhale, up three. Inhale, down. You feel that yet? Four. Inhale, down. Circle up five. 
Inhale down. Circle up six. Inhale down. Circle up seven. Inhale down. And circle up eight. Now take your hands behind your head, keeping your shoulder blades as high up as you can get. Mine are like, ah, gravity, gravity. But keep working. And then bring your feet in towards your hips. Take one hand and literally feel that your low back is pressing down. So belly pulling down, low back pulling down. You're going to lift your feet just a tiny bit, like maybe two inches up off the floor. And then put the feet back down without letting your low back move at all. And tap. So when you lift, you squeeze the ring. That's your exhale. That's when you engage. Diaphragm and pelvic floor right there. And lift. And lift. So engaging the diaphragm and the pelvic floor, it's not hard to do. Those aren't the muscles that are going to be sore. But it's mentally challenging. It's just challenging to focus like that. So it's like brain exercise, teaching you how to focus where you want to focus, which is a pretty good skill. So both hands behind your head when you're certain your low back isn't shifting around, and then add an upper body curl. And again, so the biggest mistake I see with this is people lifting their knees too high, aiming the elbows to the knees. That's a different exercise. That's not what we're going for. We want to get the shoulder blades straight up and barely lift the toes at all. It's just more challenging for this group of ab muscles. Keep squeezing the ring. Eight more. Eight. Squeeze seven. Six. Pelvic floor. Diaphragm. Pelvic floor. Two. And one. Go ahead, take the ring out, hug your knees, rock it out side to side. And then we're not done. We'll do one more exercise for the rectus abdominis it, for this workout. Flex your feet, lift your head and neck, hold on to the right shin, and lengthen the left leg away from you. So super tight left thigh. Think of using the right leg as leverage to get your shoulder blades higher up off the floor. Pull your shoulders away from your ears and scoop out your belly. Looking past your big toe at a wall instead of at the ceiling because that's going to hurt your neck a lot really fast. So look at a wall. So from here, you're going to push the right shin up into your hands and that's going to lift your rib cage even higher, allowing you to scoop your belly out even more. And then switch. Right thigh tight, flex your feet, and push the left leg up into your hands. And switch, press it up. Switch, press, switch, press, switch. It's harder to engage the pelvic floor in this position, but you can still do it. Just think about it. Even if you, don't, you can't tell it's working, just think pelvic floor. Pelvic floor. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to uh, skip the lift and just switch. One. Switch two. Switch three. Four. Five. Six. Keep your shoulder blades up and take your hands behind your head. Two. Six, seven, back to the shins. Get the shoulder blades up. Use your legs as leverage. Hands behind your head. Keep those shoulder blades up. Tighten your thighs, make them work. One more round. Hands behind your head. Four, three, two, and one. Ah, hug your knees, rock it out. 
side to side. Good. Come out to that nice long spinal elongation. We'll do one awesome stretch from here and then we'll be done. So reach your right arm and your right leg longer from the torso. Left arm, left leg. Both arms, both legs. Take a deep breath in, reach even longer, and exhale the right leg up. Give it a hug behind your hamstring or your calf. And inhale, lengthen it down, making your body longer. Exhale the left leg up. Inhale, lengthen down. Really use the breath. Inhale, lengthen down. Exhale the left leg. Inhale, lengthen down. Exhale the right leg, inhale down, left leg, inhale down. So if you're really using the breath, you should already be noticing a big difference in the flexibility in the backs of your legs. Like how tight were your legs when we first started this like 30 seconds ago? And how are they feeling now? One more time each side. Exhale, right, and lengthen down, and left, and hold that spinal elongation, and then we're done with this workout anyway. You can mix and match with the other Pilates workouts in this series, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.